Vacuum Leakage Tester Fill up the lower half of the tank with clean water. Fill up to about 1 inch from top. Apply some water to wet the o-ring thoroughly. This will ensure a good vacuum lock. Take the pouch sample and place it in water. Place the perforated plastic plate over your sample. If the sample still floats, you will need to place some weights to hold it down during testing. Use any non-ferrous metal to avoid rusting. Place the top half of the tank in its position. Make sure it fits properly. Make sure the red valve on the tank is positioned exactly like this. Let's see how to program the leakage tester. Press menu. Now press enter. This is the current vacuum set point. You can change the current setting by using the start and reverse keys to increase and decrease the value. Press enter to accept. This is the current time set point. You can change the current setting by using the start and reverse keys to increase and decrease the value. Press enter to accept. Press cancel to exit the menu. Press zero and then press start. The vacuum pump will now start generating vacuum inside the tank. Because of the vacuum you will see the pouch swell up. If there is any leakage, a constant stream of air bubbles will start coming out from the leak point. Observe the leakage. If you do not find any air bubbles, then there is no leakage. As soon as the desired vacuum set point is achieved, the pump will stop, and a countdown timer will start. You may notice a minor vacuum drop of up to 5% during this period, which is normal. As soon as the desired time set point is achieved, the system will discharge the vacuum in the tank and bring it to atmospheric pressure. You can now open the tank and inspect the pouch. Remember, only a continuous stream of air bubbles means there is a leakage. Sporadic bubbles can come from entrapped air, which is not a leakage. Thanks for watching our presentation.